Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Janari Ricks. Janari Ricks. Janari Ricks. I'm sorry. Let me use a name that you're more familiar with. Uh, Michael Brown. George Floyd. Brown and Taylor. We know who they are, right? We've heard those names at fucking nauseam, right? But Janari Ricks, who is that? Well, Janari Ricks is nine years old. I'm sorry. Janari Ricks was nine years old. You remember nine years old? Santa was still real. All you had to do was some homework, maybe a few chores, and play. That's it. First day of school, last day of school, sleepovers, riding bikes. Do kids still ride bikes? I don't know. <laughs> Mine do. But you remember what it was like to be nine years old, carefree, fun? Well, apparently, these fucking monsters in Chicago figured that nine years was enough. They figured that Janari Ricks was all done. You've seen all life has to offer, so we might as well kill you now. And that's exactly what they did. Some piece of garbage, and no offense to any pieces of garbage that may be watching, but some piece of garbage, animal, low-down, rotten piece of shit who needs to die soon shot this little boy in his chest. Killed him. He's gone. Nine years old. Nine years old, for those of us who are adults, nine years old, nine years is a blink. Nine years, that ain't shit. Forget about life hasn't even begun. It hasn't even begun to begin. Nine years old? But they thought that nine years was sufficient, so they went ahead and removed him from the earth. But how come we don't know his name? And when these kids get shot, it's not just their parents who are hurt, or in most of these cases, their parent, their mama. It's not them who are the only ones that are hurt by this, who feel pain, who feel sadness. What do you think about the cops, EMTs, firefighters that show up? They gotta pick up this little bloody nine-year-old body and put it on a stretcher and try to save their life on the way to the hospital. Then you get to the hospital, the doctors, the nurses working on this little boy, cutting his t-shirt open to get to his bullet wound. You think these doctors and nurses and cops and EMTs and firefighters, you think they don't have kids too? You think they might have a, might not have a nine-year-old? You think they might not look down on this little boy's body and see their child's face? It's a ripple effect. Not to mention the orderlies who come in afterwards and got to clean up the blood and the clothes and his little nine-year-old size shoe off the floor. That is a true sign of a society, how you treat women, children, and elderly. And Chicago is failing their children. Mayor Lightfoot, you are worthless. If they took you out of the equation things will probably get better because they can't get worse. You ready to die? Go to Chicago. You really want to die quick? You don't got a lot of time to waste? Go to Chicago on a holiday weekend. You will get blasted. Rest in peace, you poor little boy, Janari Ricks. A little boy whose name we'll never get to know it won't be on the back of no stupid-ass NFL player's helmet. It's not going to be in the back of some stupid-ass NBA player's T-shirt. It's not going to be painted in the street. It's not going to be written on the fucking basketball court. Because they don't care. But one of these thug-ass Negroes doing thug shit will know all about them. Speaking of one of them, speaking of Chicago... One of Chicago's finest, Oprah. 
Oprah should do her show on the south side of Chicago where all the shootings happen. You get a bullet to the chest. You get a bullet to the face. So she has the O Magazine, and I know none of us have ever read that piece of shit. But she has O Magazine. And on every cover, every single cover, Oprah is on it. Her face is on the cover. This time, she's putting the face of Brianna Taylor on the cover of her magazine. Now, like I just said, nobody gives a shit about O, the magazine, but the damaging part is the message. Because you got this girl, Brianna Taylor, on the cover of this magazine. This is where you hear, say her name, say her name. Who was she? And they always describe her as Brianna Taylor and EMT. Like that's supposed to make you have more sympathy for her. She was just out there trying to save lives. Well, apparently Brianna Taylor was dating a thug, a turd. He was a dope dealer. You see this all, everything goes back to the family. I don't know her family structure, but what if she didn't have a dad? Is that how she ended up with a fucking dope boy? Is that how she picked a sorry ass man because she didn't have a good example in her life? Possible. So she's dating this dope dealer and he's under surveillance. The cops are watching him go to and from dope houses. They're watching him pick up packages and drive a car that is that what was registered to Brianna Taylor to her apartment. So they have what is called probable cause. So they come in on a no-knock warrant. They do no-knock warrants on these dope boys because they don't want to give them a heads up so they can get rid of the evidence. But the police say they knocked anyway. So they knock on the door and they bust in because when you don't open the door they got to find another way to open the door so they bust in her boyfriend starts shooting at the cops they return fire he's not hit but she is she's in the other i guess it was in the middle of the night or really early in the morning she's in the back bedroom asleep and unfortunately she was shot and killed but the problem is the narrative See, when they talk about it, they say it as these bloodthirsty cops just kicked this door in and started spraying. They didn't care who was in the house. They just started shooting. Now, does that sound like the actions of a police officer? Like they're just going to bust in the door and start shooting for no reason. The reason they shot is because that fool shot first. It's her boyfriend's fault. If he wasn't dealing dope, the cops wouldn't have been there. The cops don't sit around the police station going, Whew, I'm bored, guys. You want to go kick in the door and shoot some black people? Hell yeah, man, let's go. Got nothing better to do. There's no more crimes to solve in fucking Louisville. Louisville. There's nothing else to do. No more crimes and murders to solve. So let's just go out and let's do some, some turkey shooting. Like shooting fish in a fucking barrel, man. You just kick in the door and start boom, boom, boom. One of the cops got fired because they said he was uh, he shot or he was excessive for it. He basically shot too many times. Or is there a fucking number of times cops are supposed to shoot and then stop? Are they supposed to count it? Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys. That's five shots. Ho, oh, cut it. Cut. No, it's the heat of the moment. Shit happens. When you get shot, and one of the cops got hit. When you get shot at, you return fire until the threat is neutralized. Period. But there are millions of people who read this magazine who are going to see this and go, Oh my God, they shot that poor black girl. She was an EMT. They just kicked her door in and shot her in bed. Oh my God, they're right. Black Lives Matter is right. No, black lives don't matter. Apparently, ask Janari Ricks. You think, hey, Janari, do you think your black life mattered? Oh, he can't answer us right now. 
because he's dead because somebody shot him. And what do you think the person looked like who shot him? You think they had a black life too? Yeah, they look just like him. Don't tell me black lives matter when they are taken without thought or consideration. And if you have to say black lives matter, they don't matter. Nobody's walking around here saying puppies are cute. Man, you know puppies are really cute. Puppies sure are cute. You don't need to because you already know it. The world, the country does not need to know that black lives matter. The people taking the black lives need to know. Not me. I already know it. Not you. You already know it. We're not out here taking black lives. We're not taking lives of any color. So don't tell me. Tell these fucking savages in these inner cities. They need the message. Not me. That's like going into a burn unit at a hospital and saying, Hey, fire's hot. Yeah, we know. We got the message. That's why we're wrapped in gauze. We know that already. Don't tell me. Tell the people who aren't burnt that fire is hot. We know it. Fucking bullshit, man. You start putting these kids' names and these innocent people's names on your fucking jerseys and helmets. Then I'll take you seriously. Start protesting in front of these fucking trap houses and I'll take you seriously. Start protesting in front of these broke ass, sorry ass, dilapidated, broke down, worthless schools and I'll take you seriously. Cause see when it's a serious cause and it's really gonna make, it's really gonna affect change, people will get behind it. People will listen, people will help. But if you're running around here telling me some shit that's not true, that doesn't happen, I can't get behind that. I can't listen to you. Because it's a bunch of fucking nonsense. I don't have time for nonsense. Come to me when you're serious. What are you, what's kneeling down during the anthem going to do? You've already done it. What's changed? They were kneeling down before Janari Ricks got killed. Did that save him? Did that piece of shit who was on his way to kill him? Did he stop and say, wait, hold on, man. Something, something's different. I feel... I, I don't want to go kill anybody anymore. I mean, here, let me throw this gun away. I don't want to kill anybody anymore. No, that didn't happen. That fucker went ahead and walked over there and shot that little boy. That's because you kneeling down and painting shit on the ground like a five-year-old with, ch with sidewalk chalk doesn't do shit. It helps nothing. The only thing it helps is for you to sleep at night. It's to quell your liberal guilt for another 24 hours. That's what it does. It helps you deal with your survivor's guilt because you made it out of the hood. Bunch of clowns. Man, let me hop in this damn rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Make sure you utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.